um, grace, grace to good people all over the world. Um, yesterday, we be, yesterday we began a conversation on to know nothing save Jesus, part one. And so we're going to carry on with part two today. And from our very same text yesterday in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, the NKJV, the Bible says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, did, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And we looked at what meant, what that word to know a meant to us yesterday. So today, I want to take us to another dimension, okay? So let me start by saying this, that Prayer is not a tool given us to seek our will, but rather to seek God's will to prevail above our will. Never come before God seeking your will to prevail. Come before God seeking His will to prevail. We are not, uh, He is not our workmanship. We are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good work. So He's not our worker. He is our boss. You understand? So, this is why prayer is to me an opportunity, listen, to seek an experience or to seek to experience and know Christ above everything this world has to offer. Whenever I come to the presence of God, I just want to know Christ. Whenever I come to the presence of God, I just want to know Christ because it's the ultimate. So Paul's ultimate prayer for you, for example, <clears throat> was for you and me to know nothing save Jesus Christ. Very important you understand this. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, he says, I ask the glorious Father and God of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you His Spirit. The Spirit will make you wise and let you understand what it means to know God. Are you seeing that? That is what Paul prayed. That is what drove Paul to the place of prayer, to pray for his people. That's what draws me to the place of prayer, to pray that God will give you the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's very important. But listen, it will require a form of death for one to make up their mind to have a knowledge of nothing save Jesus Christ. But you see, it's a sad state when a Christian has a thorough knowledge of a thing, say football, fashion, food recipe, among many, above the knowledge of the Christ in them. It's very sad. Those days I used to know Arsenal more than Jesus Christ. I used to. <laughs> so you see, child of, you child of God, listen, what takes more of your data while you are online? Think about it. Where do you spend your money? Do you spend most of your money on buying truth or you spend most of your money on buying things which perish? But listen, it's wisdom to spend our money on the things that do invite us to grow in the grace and in the knowledge of God. Very important. So friends, make up your mind to know nothing, save Jesus Christ and 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 so for you to make up your mind to know nothing save Jesus Christ will require a form of death on your part. Okay? Because you cannot come in the presence of God for intimacy until you are dead to the things of the world. Very important you understand. So as I close, let me say this. Until you realize that Jesus is all you need and have in this world, you will never make up your mind to seek to know him above the things that you are still alive to. I hope I've made sense to us this morning. Make Jesus Christ the ultimate. He's the substance of the gospel. And as you do that, I can guarantee you one thing, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.